It was a glorious day on the island of Sodor. All of the engines wanted to get their work done quickly, as some very important visitors were coming to take a tour around town, specifically to have the engine's pictures taken on television. They were of course the ones most excited. One day, Edward was at Tidmouth's sheds where he lived with the other engines. They were all debating as to who the fat controller was going to send who to pick up the special VIP. You know, I sure would love to take the Television Express, just for one day. Unfortunately, I keep getting reminded of the consequences from the three of you claiming how old and disheveled I am. You got that right, little Edward. I suppose what this television idol needs is a proud and strong engine with a regal appearance and can pull the Wild Norwester in style. <laughs> I hate to break the news to you, Gordon, but that regal appearance of yours would be nothing compared to an engine with some shiny paintwork. I hear the ladies dig the color red. <laughs> Why, that's nothing really. With the help of some Welsh coal, I can improve my strength to pull a heavy train just as much as any other engine on the island. As the debating continued, poor Edward felt sorry for himself when the fat controller arrived. Good morning, everybody! Now, as some of you may know, longtime BBC news reporter Mindy Simpson is on her way to Sodor to climb aboard the Television Express. I shall require only one engine to show her the sights of the island. Now, which one to choose? Well, what about Edward? Wait, you really mean it? Thank you, sir. That will be a nice change. That's a good engine. Off you go now, Edward. So the fireman built up his fire, made lots of steam, and Edward chuffed happily away. The other engines were very cross for being left behind. When Edward arrived at Knapford Station, he was so excited to see Mindy Simpson, but she wasn't there yet. At last, he came across what looked like a smartly dressed lady carrying a motion picture camera. Excuse me, madam, but are you Mindy Simpson? Well, um, yes. Yes, I am. The Mindy Simpson? Yes, siree. And I assume that you must be Edward. The one and only. Most of the other engines say that I'm old and disheveled, but that doesn't stop me from being really useful. If anything, the most known job that I've ever done was helping Gordon up the hill whenever he's stuck. How incredibly interesting. Well, I have come here to record a tour around the island of Sodor. Care to show me the sights? Uh, of course, madam. All aboard. I'll be back in a jiffy. So Edward chuffed out of the way as Percy was getting his coaches ready for action. Afternoon, Edward. Afternoon, Thomas. Now our next stop is brought to you by a branch line featuring everyone's favorite number one engine, particularly an LB and SCR Billington E2 class with extended side tanks named Thomas. Yep, that's me. Don't wear it out. Oops, that's the guard's whistle. Best be off. Cheerio.
The fat controller was enjoying his tea and iced bun when the telephone rang. Hello. What's that you say? Edward's back at Nabford already? Well, well, all right. I'll attend to the matter immediately. Uh, goodbye. At the station, the fat controller arrived on the scene to see what was the matter. Well, sir, it turns out that the pictures of all the engines on Sodor were fully developed. And let me tell you something, the boys back at the BBC network will never believe this, especially when the program is about to premiere. The fat controller smiled. <laughs> well done, Edward. You are a really useful engine. That night at Tidmouth's Sheds, Edward was alone with Henry, Gordon, and James. They were, of course, watching the premiere of the broadcast that was filmed earlier. I'm here live on the scene at Knapford Station for the BBC premiere tour of the Island of Sodor, featuring Thomas the Tank Engine and all of his friends, and also to honor the 40th anniversary of the television show. So when you put that out of the way, let the tour of the island begin. Oh, I think this is about to be the best part of the broadcast, wouldn't you say so? But Edward wasn't hearing what the other engines thought. They were just about to drift off to sleep when suddenly something caught their attention coming from the television. There, broadcasting on the BBC network, were Henry, Gordon, and James right on camera. I bust my boiler. I don't believe it. That looks like us. Great, now I have guilt. One hour later, the broadcast was coming to an end as the big engine stared in awe. Well, there you have it, folks. The island of Sodor is a peaceful environment where all of the engines are treated amazingly thanks to the helping of the one and only Sir Charles Topham Hatt. Thanks for watching the broadcast, and tonight on BBC One, a double helping of Woody Woodpecker and friends. Thank you. After tonight's viewing experience, for the rest of the night, Gordon, James, and Henry remained respectfully silent.